The problem with being a two-hit wonder. Robbie Dupree explains. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. You've probably seen this a lot of times that people will call two-hit wonders, three-hit wonders, sometimes even four-hit wonders, one-hit wonders because, well, it's a catchy phrase and people like, for whatever reason, talking about one-hit wonders. Robbie Dupree had two pretty good hits, Hot Rod Hearts and Steal Away. But someone at VH1 liked the idea of him being a one-hit wonder instead. I'll just tell you a quick story about it. I don't know, maybe it was like 12 years ago or 10 years ago, I can't remember. But I got a call from a producer at VH1 and he said, we would like to feature you in a, a series we have called One Hit Wonders. And I bristled a little bit and I said, well, hold on. You know, I have, I have two hits. And he said, Robbie, there's no show for two hit wonders. <laughs> so, so that's the answer. I mean, you know, like if they want to, if you get, some people really do their homework and know the difference and they're kind of music fans and some people just, you know, phone it in and they know steal away and that's all they know and they never took a moment to research any further not yeah. to mention all the records i've made independently since then so you you can't do anything about it the songs that people really know and that you're associated with they're indelibly marked forever and all of the rest of the music doesn't have that same cachet and and never will yeah you know that's just that's just the reality of it tell me about audio graffiti audio graffiti is um it's the latest. I did two singles recorded together. One was called Ordinary Day, and the second one is Audio Graffiti. And Audio Graffiti is really, it's not a complaint about the way things are today. It's more of an observation of the, of the dialogue that goes around, I believe, universally with musicians, cats that have been around for a long time, or fans like yourself who uh, know a lot about the music. So it's sort of a reference point. You know, and um, it opens with the line, we've come a long way since the Fillmore days, and now we're all living in the digital age. Non-stop hip-hop, can't find a record shop, say goodbye to the old school ways. And from there, it goes into talking about Aretha, Marvin Gaye, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, just talking about the way it used to be with music, not lamenting or complaining, I should say, but it is, it is a, a nostalgic look back at it, you know. The record shop line got to me because I'm doing, I'm actually doing a video on the fact that even though there are vintage record shops opening with vinyl again, I don't know why, I, I just miss going into a record shop and being excited. Exactly. I mean, that's what it is. It's what we, you know, you don't have to be, I'm not saying don't listen to hip hop or there's something wrong with it. I'm not making a judgment about it. I'm just really saying I don't think we'll ever see days like that again. And I, I feel it's true in a lot of ways. Like, I don't think we'll ever see movies like we saw, like The Godfather and, you know, Raging Bull and things of that quality and that, that dimension. I don't think that's, that's coming back, you know. I just think now there's independent movies and there's big studio movies, which are like animated films and kids' movies and that's, that's where the money is. And I think there's a parallel in music that there's still independent music, there's people still doing good work, but it's on a much smaller level. And even a, a, a giant like Bonnie Raitt, I mean, Bonnie Raitt puts out her own records on her own label. She's not on Warner Brothers anymore or Columbia or anything, you know what I mean? It's like, if you want to do it, you've got to do it on your own. And we all need people to recognize that and to support that or it will go away. You know, people just won't do it anymore. And there's so many that won't. I heard that Harold Smith doesn't want to do any more records and that kind of, so, you know, you, technology can work for you, but it can really work against you as well. And maybe audio graffiti um, looks back to a, an easier time. Hey, thanks everyone for buying our t-shirts. Makes a great gift for someone. Links in the description of this video, partial proceeds going to St. Jude's Hospital. And it's a great way to support this channel. Thank you so much. Links again in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.